What are you doing? I had a nightmare. You want to talk about it? No. I'll come back to bed. I should have done more. When I was out there, I should have done more. you could. How do you know that? What? You keep saying stuff like that. How, how do you know? How do you have any idea what I could have done? I'm just... You keep saying stuff like that, just that is not true, just so I feel better. I, I don't, I don't understand. <sighs> would you, would you rather I just picked you apart? Make you feel like shit? I'm not gonna do that. I just want you to be honest. What you want is for me to read your mind so I can say to you whatever you want to hear at any given time. You want me to be the bad guy? Fine. But I was the one who stayed here holding our kids together while you ran off no, to no, trying no, to deal no, with no, whatever no, no, it was no, no, you were no, no, doing. No, no, no. You make it sound like I went on a fucking vacation. I came to you. I asked for your fucking permission. I was just trying to save our daughter. Did it ever occur to you that maybe uh, we could have done things together? Uh, no, because you wanted to do it on your own. You want to do everything on your own. That's why you... That's why what? That's why what? Nothing. Not, that's what I want. I'm going back to bed. Stop being a fucking coward and tell me. <clears throat> that's why you wanted a divorce. Because it would be easier for you to cut and run. To deal with Thomas's death on your own instead of trying to put our family back together. Oh, yeah. And you were the knight in shining armor, right? Everything you did, every choice you made was perfect. I never said that. You think getting the divorce was going to let me deal with it on my own? I was already on my fucking own. Oh, that's so not true. You got to throw oh. yourself into your work. You were not there when Julie and Ethan woke up crying. You didn't see them sitting in Thomas's room just staring at his toys. No. And you're upset. You're upset because you had to take care of your children the few days that I was gone. I took care of my fucking kids for a year while you were doing... No, it. God! I don't know fucking Damn what. it, no! Where are you going? Downstairs. Hey, you slept late? Where's Dad? Um, he went to the lake with some people to get the rest of the food. He left? Yeah, he's coming back tomorrow. Go tell him I'm making breakfast. So we're just taking day trips to the lake now? Honey, the people need the food. Right. And it had nothing to do with that screaming match last night. I'm sorry you heard that. Pretty sure people in Colony House heard. Listen, Julie. Not, I get it. Heard the speech plenty of times. I'm just glad some things are finally getting back to normal. Look at Ethan. So you're saying this could be some kind of code? Yeah, or an algorithm, or uh, who knows what the fact is. Tabitha got pushed out of a lighthouse and somehow ended up near a hiking trail in Camden, Maine. <laughs> I don't think I'm being controversial when I say by all known metrics that's impossible. Okay. I, unless, unless she experienced some kind of quantum event, right? Or a wormhole or any number of theoretical events that would allow her to get from the lighthouse in the woods to Camden, Maine. Or maybe, 
Maybe the White House in the woods occupies the same space as Camden, Maine. Maybe it wasn't a wormhole so much as a, a dimensional rift. Jade. I can understand an awful lot of people get confused, but the truth is a wormhole is a shortcut through space and time, whereas a dimensional rift. Jade, stop. Sorry, what? I thought you said you had something exciting to show me. Yeah. All right, okay, okay, listen, listen. I understand why you might be skeptical. I am too. Something tells me that this has to mean something. The bottle tree was important to Miranda, right? And according to Tabitha, she's the only one who had a connection to this place long before she arrived. Did you look at the bottles from the other tree? What other tree? The one in Maine? No, how could no, I? The one... Sarah and I found one of these trees when we went out into the woods together. It wasn't a portal tree, but it still had bottles hanging from it, messages inside. I pulled one down. It said 1864. 1864. 1864. Where's the second tree? Hey, uh, sorry, uh, I was looking for you and I just figured I'd wait. Okay. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yeah, that belonged to Mrs. Davis. Is that right? What was Mrs. Davis doing with one of these? She bought it for her son. He was very sick, uh, and he saw the car in the back of a magazine. And so she drove far away to, to buy one from the only store that, that still sold them. Uh, she, she said her son didn't have very long, and she knew that the uh, car would make him smile. Uh, she saw the tree before she got home. And she died a long time ago. I guess her son is dead, too. I was thinking maybe you could show me around today. Uh, there's something I have to do. Very important. Oh, mind if I tag along? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, I'll, um, I'll just get out of your way. Uh, uh, it's very dangerous what I, I have to do, and, I, and I, I, uh, don't want you to get hurt. But you could walk with me f for a bit if you want. All right. I'd like that. Okay. I uh, finished getting out the ambulance. Here's the last of it. Awesome. Thanks. Oh, this stuff's gonna be a godsend. I'm gonna bring this downstairs. Oh, I can give you a hint. You've done plenty, really. You should go home. Get some rest. Thank you. Coming to going. Oh, I, uh, going. You okay? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Kenny. I'm good. I'm good, really. I don't want to talk about it right now. Okay? Yeah. Yeah.
Shouldn't you be in bed? I don't think you're one to talk about taking it easy. He's doing better. Yeah. Yeah, I was... It was just a... Hey, that ambulance came in fully stocked. There was a portable ultrasound on board. Really? Yeah. When you see Fatima, tell her to come on by. She can take a look at her little nugget. I'll do that. Hey, look, don't mention that I came by, okay? Yeah, of course. That's really good news. The, the ultrasound. Yeah. <laughs>